Hello and welcome to Beam NG Drive. I'm David in ARC. All right, so I had a viewer ask me how many vehicles can my computer spawn in and still function decently? I, I have no idea. So let's find out. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to clone my current vehicle. Now, part of this is also... Um, I've got AI turned on or traffic turned on and there's also some parked cars spawned in. So that was also part of the conversation. Now that I've got, you know, now now that they automatically spawn in some parked cars, how does that affect the performance of my game? So, uh, we went so I went in and spawned in a vehicle and realized that is going to take way too long uh, to be able to duplicate or replicate vehicles. So, if you pause your game and then hit F11 and jump into the world editor, you can select the individual vehicles called clones and clone them. So that's what I'm doing here. I am literally just uh, selecting vehicles and then, uh, whoops, uh, holding the shift key. Well, I'm not holding shift here. I'm here. I'm moving things around. So let's, let's move this over here. Okay, and now if I select a vehicle and now if I hold shift, then you can see that it replicates a vehicle pretty quickly. And if you, if you hold shift while you click on each individual little car icon there, then you notice like now it just cloned two uh, vehicles. And so now I've got those two selected and... Um, I'm going to run out of space quickly, but that's okay. We'll figure this out. So while I'm holding shift, now I've got four vehicles selected. Still holding shift, I drag the mouse, and then I can let go of shift, but still hold the mouse button down. And that way, when I drag my mouse off to the side, I've now cloned an additional four vehicles. And this is very much a lather, rinse, repeat type situation. Okay, and now that I've got the frame rate showing there in the upper left corner, you can see that uh, we're getting roughly 9 to 10 FPS uh, with the number of vehicles that A, I have spawned in, B, that were spawned in when the game started, plus it has some of the parked vehicles. Um, not, okay. I wasn't sure why they're not moving. I set all of the vehicles as AI traffic. It's just taking a while for them to decide what they want to do, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how the AI thinks. Uh, so uh, we'll just kind of let this run a little bit. <clears throat> Once again, I'm, I'm sitting somewhere between 9 and 10 FPS. And uh, I'm going to get my car kind of out of the way here. Um well, okay, i tell you what I need to do. Let, let, let's take a look. Oh, oh boy, here comes a dude. He's probably just going to wreck straight into me because, you know, it's AI. Okay, these guys are still not moving, so I'm just going to put them on random <laughs> instantly. Uh, I love BeamNG. As soon as the cars are allowed to go anywhere they feel like going, guess what? They crash into each other. All right, anyway. So I'm going to pause physics here, and let's, uh, let's do a count. Um, let's just see how many vehicles we have actually in the game visible at this point. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, uh, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Let's see what we've got. If we cruise down here, there's 31, 32. 233 34 All right so it looks like we're looking at about 34 Let me just see here Yeah we did that one already Oh there's another one here so 35 34 35 in here so far somewhere in there but okay So okay so then what if we go the opposite direction? Uh, yep, we do have a car out here. Okay, so that's 35, 36, somewhere in there. That's a close approximation anyway. So we've roughly 35 cars 
on the screen. And again, we were getting about 9 or 10 FPS when the game is rolling. So if I spawn in a few more vehicles, let's see if... Well, let's see what difference that makes. So let's we'll, we'll ramp this up to maybe 40 or so and then kind of check back in and see what we got. All right, here we go. So I've got roughly 40 vehicles spawned in here, and we can see that it's definitely hurt the FPS. We're more like in the 7-8 range rather than in the 9-10 range. So... Uh, obviously, and it doesn't take you know, a genius to figure this out, but obviously uh, the more cars you're spawning in, then the, the lower your FPS is going to be. But, it, it's and, and is, is the game playable at 7 FPS? No, not really. <laughs> it's not, but you know what? Uh, but that's okay. We're going we're gonna to drop this in. Uh, got another, let me see what I got going here. Uh, okay, there we go. I was trying to figure out what's going on with my car. So I'm going to try spawning in a few more. And let's just see what happens when we spawn in a few more vehicles. Okay, at this point, I've spawned in roughly 45 vehicles or so. Somewhere between 45 and 50. And man, the FPS is just... It's hurting, man. It is hurting. We're now floating in that 5, 6. Sometimes it gets up to 7. So what I'm trying to do is I want to see if the FPS changes when I don't have the vehicles actually on my screen, right? I mean, I know they're there. Really, dude? Really? I'm, I'm trying to make a video here. All right, well, anyway, what I was trying to do or trying to say um, is that, oh, wait, am I going to get hit? No? You, oh, well, that's impressive. Uh, I was just kind of curious to see, you know, if I were to drive off and drive away and not see the vehicles, would that change anything? And, and it's obvious that the answer to that is no. The game is still tracking all of the vehicles that are currently spawned into the game. Now, one of the one of the things that I've done, because I started with traffic, there the, any of the traffic vehicles will randomly continue to spawn as I drive down the road. Any of the vehicles that I copied and pasted or that I cloned, they will not. They will actually stay where they are in the game, if I'm not mistaken. I, I believe that is correct. Um, but yeah, as you can see, as I'm driving down the road here, the FPS is really not changing, despite the fact that I'm getting further and further away from those other vehicles. And actually, oops, oh, I was I was too busy looking further down the road. Okay, now this is this is a mess. Yeah. All right. So uh, this is a combination of weird stuff going on here. That's for sure. All righty. Well, so that is, I mean, I mean, in a nutshell, there's your answer. Um, I can get roughly 50 vehicles and still pull about six frames per second. But, you know, let's see what we can do here. So if I go into the traffic and I tell it to remove all of the traffic. All right. So at that point, okay, my FPS is running about 40 something, 50 something. So 40s and 50s that that doesn't feel right i don't know why okay let's go down here let's let's go take a look i, I told it to remove all of the traffic vehicles oh no they're still cars. okay so it removed the traffic vehicles but did not remove all of the vehicles because some of these are the ones that either i spawned in or I don't know, the game's just being weird, who knows. So if I go in here to vehicles and tell it to remove all of the other vehicles, now I am the only vehicle in the game and you can see that my FPS has jumped back up to something a little better. It's, it's not quite where I'd like it to be, but then again, you know, it, it's, it's all good. I mean, heck, we're still running 70 something FPS. And if I go ahead and do the regular traffic spawn, then what we see here is that the game is going to spawn in roughly six or seven vehicles 
and at that point we see that the FPS has dropped down to upper 30s, 40s, every now and then some 50s. So is it is it awesome? No, it's it's not the best, you know, but frankly, it's not bad either. I mean, considering, whoops. Um, and I know people are going to ask me what kind of computer do I have, so I should have started with that, but I've got a Ryzen 7 3700X. I currently have uh, a GeForce RTX 3060 Ti in the computer. Um, those of you that have been around a while, you know that at one point I was running uh, an ATI uh, RX 6700X, and frankly, I hated that video card. Um, in fact, I need to sell it or something. Uh, I, I just, it, my system, which is weird because it's, you know, AMD, it did not like the AMD Ryzen card for whatever reason. I don't know. They just did not jihaw. And so I, I, I still have it. Um, but, uh, I, I got a 3060 TI on sale and decided to, you know, go that route. And I'm much happier with the way things are. I, I think at this point, the main bottleneck in my computer is the CPU. Just, you know, it's showing some age. Okay, so one of the things that we want to do is anytime you're doing any kind of benchmarking and you want to test your performance, from my perspective anyway, one of the best ways to do that is to jump out to the simple grid map because this is going to be the most accurate FPS you got. I mean, look at the FPS there. Why? Because there's nothing else on the field that's why all right so now that we've got this what we're going to do is jump out here and i want to uh, copy again i'm jumping into the world editor and i am going to make copies of these vehicles and let's just see how many of these we can get into the simple grid and compare our fps as we do so. Um, I think I'm going to do five at a time because five is a nice easy number to work with. So here are the five and you can see that the FPS is dancing somewhere between 80 something and 110, sometimes 120. But now I'm going to select the five and we will copy the five. Once again, you, you got to be patient with this. Okay. You, you've got to take your time and just wait and let the computer do what's going to do. Again, I have the physics paused. So once I spawn in the next set of vehicles, then I want to uh, unpause those so that they fall down to the ground. And uh, let me get them positioned. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. So I, I unpause the physics, let them fall to the ground. And then I just select all 10 and now I'm going to replicate all 10 of these vehicles. Again, you have to be patient. You gotta wait for the game to be able to figure out exactly what you're wanting and what it's able to do. And you may not be able to do this with your computer. Uh, I'm just letting you know that right here, right now, your mileage is going to vary. But at this point, we've got 20 bastions spawned in and if i select all 20 where's my mover there it is <laughs> i can't even i can't even find that man okay um so again i'm going to move this up here and by the way while it's doing this you're going to see my frame rate is going to do some weird stuff um that's very misleading while you are copying cars because that's not the actual fps uh, in fact, I mean, technically speaking, it's running at zero FPS right now because the game can't do anything while it's calculating uh, what to do with all these vehicles. So, okay, so, whoops. Uh, as you can see, it's already a little hard to move things out here. So, yeah, you can look at there. Look at the FPS in the top left corner there. Three and four FPS. And that's, that's going to be pretty accurate at this point, especially when I unfreeze physics and you, you can see frame by frame as the vehicles drop but you know that gives us what 40 40 vehicles is that right yeah i don't know man i'm losing count yeah so that's 40 so now we will duplicate this one more time and that will give us 80 vehicles 
Holy cow. Okay, my computer may crash at this point. By the way, that can happen big time. Um, if if you overload, if you, if you overtax the CPU by trying to spawn in all of these vehicles and you just you kill the threads, then, yeah, your computer will crash. Or the game will crash. Possibly your computer will crash. Either way, it's, it's not pretty. That is for sure. So, uh Let's see what we got here. Come on. Give me, my, give, me, give, me, give me my additional 40 cars. All right, here we go. That is now spawning in the additional 40 vehicles. We are looking at 80 bastions in the game. And it is taking so much time just for me to try to move these cars up. Whoops, and out of the way. Oh, 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 slowly. Okay. That should be pretty close, I would think. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. We'll come out here, swing around. Yeah, that's not bad. All right. So I will unpause the physics. Look at that, man. Two point. Well, every now and then it'll jump to three, but basically two frames per second. Oh, whoops, sorry, I'm, I'm trying to free cam the game. I can't even keep up with what I'm trying to do on my keyboard. Here we go. Oh my gosh, whoa, okay, we are out of control. Oh, look at that. 80 vehicles, and we're running 2.5 to 3.5 frames per second, and that is, that is rough. That is very very rough. All right, so let's see what happens if we get these bad boys moving because that's what we want to see. We want to see how does the game per, uh, behave when we've got vehicles that are moving around. So <clears throat> we're going to jump in here. And so let's go in here and let's do AI. <clears throat> and let's do flee. And everyone should run away from my vehicle. There we go. Okay. And my vehicle is the one right there that is not moving. That's the one that the computer says I am controlling. But look at this. That is so crazy. Oh, this is so bad. So slow. So I don't recommend 80 vehicles on the screen at one time if you've got a similar or weaker system than what I have. Just throwing that out there, letting you know. But that gives you a general idea as to what the game looks like, especially on my own computer when I try to spawn in way too many cars. So anyhow, there you go. Thank you so much for the question. Thank you so much for watching. Special thanks to Hero of God, Gamer Gall, Los Wilco, 7220 Gamer, the Maestro of Madness, and it has to be done for supporting the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate that. Got any questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories? Feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. I'm David in Ark. We'll see you next time. Have a great day. This is so, so painful to watch. Oh, my goodness. Ah, you know what? We all learned something, though, right? Yeah. That's what we tell ourselves.